The second day of the Tattersall's July sale was characterised once again by a strong international buying base, with both of the top lots on the day signed for at 100,000 guineas, and both of them set to continue their racing careers in the Middle East. The first of the day's top lots was 507 Mr Diamond, an improving three-year-old gelding from Richard Fahey's Musley Bank Stables, who sold to Qatar's champion trainer Jasim Ghassali for the session-topping price. Accompanied by bloodstock agent Will Douglas, who cited the horse's recent runner-up effort to awe, a subsequent fourth in the Britannia at Royal Ascot as the main draw, Ghassali has enjoyed a busy week, signing for 12 horses at the sale so far, the majority of which will join the extensive string of Qatar's champion owner, Khalifa bin Sheil al Khawari. Mr Diamond is a good horse. Last time out uh, at a class two race, he came third and he, he ran maybe two or three races at a class two. He placed on them. He's a quite good horse for Qatar. Uh, he ran in, the, in a good firm uh, ground. Uh, I think that uh, he'll go to Mr. Ghaz uh, Mr Ghazali as a trainer. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him in Qatar and the uh, Arrayan race course. Yesterday we bought a horse that came forth in one of the biggest races we have for three years old. We got him for 325,000. We're looking forward for a big season next season. We have many uh, colts, uh, fillies, uh, big horses, one of the known horses in, in Qatar, uh, the Blue Eye, Ani Marak, and many more of them. And now we're, uh, we're trying to buy uh, many, more, many more of uh, the future horses and uh, to close uh, the, the gaps in the Emir's festivals and all the big festivals, and even the small races in Qatar, the handicaps and the cups. One of the last slots through the ring to ignite the interest of the diverse global buying base present this week was lot 619, the Joe Shoot train trained to Georgia, who was sold to Al Rashid Racing for the joint session topping price of 100,000 guineas. The gelding by Scat Daddy was owned by Matt Morgan, and having won and finished second on his two starts to date, did enough for racing manager Tariq Mubarak to identify him as well suited to the racing programme in Dubai, where he'll join trainer Satish Simar. Al Rashad Racing are a new operation, with 10 horses in training in the UK so far, with Richard Hughes, Richard Fahey and Peter Chapel Hyam. Trainer William Haggis's Somerville Lodge draft also proved popular on the second day, with lot 544 current option topping the offering when selling to Stephen Thorne of Shamrock Thoroughbreds on behalf of Dooley Thoroughbreds for 85,000 guineas. One of two purchases from William Haggis by Manchester-based brothers Mark David and James Dooley of Dooley Bloodstock, current option alongside lot 548 Politicise, who cost connections 65,000 guineas, will join trainer Adrian McGuinness in Ireland. Somerville Lodge were also responsible for the sale of lot 543 just one lot earlier, three-year-old colt Crystal Tribe, who sold to Jamie Lloyd of Mia Lloyd Bloodstock for 82,000 guineas. The Lord Lloyd Webber bred Dan Silly three-year-old out of Philly's mile winner Crystal Tribe is another of the day's purchases set to clock up the air miles in the coming weeks, with a US-based plan on the horizon, according to the former California-based trainer Lloyd. He's very progressive, obviously, recent form, two, coming off of two wins. My partner in America, David, Mia, uh, both of us spent a long time going through the race replays, and the race replays, his style in particular, seemed like he'd fit California, which will be his final destination. He's gone to a long-standing client of Jeff Mullins, who we've, uh, we've had some success with in the past. We bought him a horse here quite a while ago now called Battle of Hastings, who, uh, who won a lot of money for him as a three-year-old on the grass in America, so hopefully this horse will be just as lucky for him. It's been a tough week, everybody's sort of on the same horses, around the same money. We're very happy to have got him, I thought we might have to give a little bit more, but um, you know, he'd certainly have targets in mind of Del Mar. He can run for a ship and win bonus in the allowance races, or he could go for the La Jolla Grade 2 or the Del Mar Derby. So that would be the sort of, the sort of goal he'd be aiming for. Jamie Lloyd was also responsible for the purchase of Lot 527, one of three lots on the day to realise a price of 80,000 guineas, with frontman set to join the day's joint session topping lot in Qatar, where the Judmont consigned son of Kingman will continue his racing career. So he'll go to Qatar, uh, it's the same connection as who we bought Beachwalk for last year, uh, off of Michael Stout. He won the Amir Shalfa in Qatar last year, the $250,000 race, so they were eager to reinvest this year. Uh, so he goes to train us, Stefano Ibado in Doha, and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll do, uh, do just as well. And what sort of profile of horses are you looking for for Qatar? 
for Qatar, I mean, it, the higher and higher rated more now. I mean, there's so much competition here. Uh, Al Ghazari has beaten us on nearly every horse this week, so we, we were very delighted to get one. But uh, we've certainly struggled all so far. It's been a struggle to get them. You know, the competition is so high now.